There is a lot to unpack here, and that's why we have uh, uploaded uh, the more than 170-page report onto our website for people to read. In the meantime, I can tell you that a team of lawyers led by the former Deputy Attorney General of the United States, Sally Yates, examined allegations of abuse in the National Women's Soccer League, and they uh, you know, did this for months, and they found that sexual uh, and verbal abuse, even emotional abuse, is a systemic issue. Uh, uh, in the league, and it spans multiple coaches, uh, victims, and teams, including the Portland Thorns. In fact, we're learning that officials with the Thorns did not act in good faith during this investigation. A lengthy investigation into the National Women's Soccer League revealed that Portland Thorns officials interfered with access to relevant witnesses, and the team raised misleading legal arguments in an attempt to slow the entire process. Perhaps that's not terribly surprising, considering the Thorns were one of the primary focuses of this investigation into the Soccer League. It has a lot to do with allegations of sexual and emotional misconduct against former Thorns coach Paul Riley. We've reported on that in the past. Riley is accused of sexually harassing some of his players and time after time making unwanted advances. The investigation revealed that as early as 2014, the Thorns were alerted to Riley being verbally abusive, sexist, and destructive, among other things. But Riley wasn't fired until a year later in 2015. Riley was terminated for violating his contract and committing gross negligence, but publicly, the team simply said Riley would not be retained and they thanked him for his service. In fact, Riley went on to land a new job with another team just months later. And listen to this. The investigation indicated that front office staff with the Thorns gave Riley a ringing endorsement despite the sexual and emotional misconduct allegations while leading the Thorns. NBC News spoke with the reporter from The Athletic, who first reported on the alleged misconduct last year. Did the silence enable the abuse here? A hundred percent. The silence absolutely enabled the abuse, but the silence enabled the cover-up of the abuse for, for about a decade as well. All right, the months-long investigation by the international law firm also revealed inappropriate comments by Thorns owner Merritt Paulson, team president uh, Mike Golub, and former uh, GM Gavin Wilkinson. We reached out to the Thorns for a statement on all of this. They said they are still digesting and reading the report. They'll pass along a statement at some point, and as soon as we get that, we'll pass it on to you.